Hi, I'm Ray Courier, Chief Operating Officer of Core Plus Credit Union. Today we're going to talk about the benefits of CD laddering. Let's talk about a concept that I call the rate and term conundrum. First item is the waiting game. People are creatures of habit, and if they believe that rates are going to go up in the future, it doesn't have to be the near-term future. It could be even a 18 months out, 24 months out. Oftentimes, we wait or we go short-term on our investments because we don't want to take the chance of missing out on what we perceive to be a better rate down the road. So in theory, we take a much lower rate today on a shorter term investment than what might be offered on a longer term investment that'll provide increased earnings today. The second concept is simply liquidity. I might need the money. I want to go short term in case I need it. We're going to address these in the next slides. We're going to get ready to talk about laddering. Before we do that, let's look at some rate assumptions that are simply for illustrative purposes. The year one rates reflect our current rates as of the recording of this video. Please note on the 36 through 60 month, we just increased the rates and these rates are for existing members that have money on deposit at Core Plus that are interested in choosing longer terms. These rates are not for uh, the general public that wants to come to Core Plus because we have these attractive rates. This rate assumption table uh, kind of goes along with what we believe at present time we might see in the future rate environment. We believe that rates uh, for the coming year and into the next year, year two on this table, will remain for the most part unchanged. We believe that perhaps starting in year three, we'll start to see some rates go up. And then likewise, that could continue on through years four and five. So for just purposes of this example, we'll talk about a flat environment for the first two years, and then rates beginning to rise in year three and continuing to rise in year four and five. We'll also assume that any rate changes take effect on January 1st of the first year, so there'll be 12 months of earnings at the stated rate on the table. Let's take a look at the next slide. In the example we're gonna talk about below, we're talking about how short term allows you to take advantage of repricing opportunities much quicker. So with, for example, the six month CD, we know that one time during the year that CD matures. And if rates were to change during that six month cycle, when you renew your CD, you'll automatically be able to take advantage of the higher rate. We can see that in year three, when the CD rate on this table or in this assumption increases from 10 basis points to 20 basis points, the CD reprices. So you're able to take advantage of immediate pricing opportunities. In this example, we go through five years of pricing based on a six month CD, assuming that rates are going to go up five times the value of the initial rate in the fifth year. So we go from 10 basis points to 50 basis points. If the initial investment is $100,000, we can see that in the first year at 10 basis points APY, $100 interest is earned. Now for rounding purposes, we didn't put change on it. So even though the in the second year, it would be just slightly more than $100 uh, because the initial investment is $100,100, assuming that the interest rolls over into the CD uh, the next time around, you can see that the cumulative interest over five years on this investment is $1,204. Now we're gonna talk about the concept of CD laddering. CD laddering is quite simple. Unfortunately, not a lot of people take advantage of it. What we do see is more people take advantage of just short-term CDs because of that human nature to want to get the next best rate in the event that rates go up. CD laddering can help you to maximize your interest earnings 
during an increasing rate environment and it can help you to maximize your earnings in a decreasing rate environment. CD laddering also creates a regular liquidity schedule. You can see in the chart below that in the way we've got this structure with this ladder is we have a hundred thousand dollar initial investment. In this instance I chose to put twenty five thousand into a six month CD so that means twice a year every six months you've got twenty five thousand dollars that becomes available to you in the event that you need that money for something else. At the end of year one you've got the first fifteen thousand dollars available and then likewise that 12-month CD, when that comes due, it roll into another 12-month CD. So every year you've got that. But then your 24-month CD comes due. So you can see that if you bought all of these investments on day one, you've got a nice schedule for liquidity. You always have something repricing to the higher rates as rates go up, and you always have liquidity. You can see that in year one, which is the example we're showing below, nothing reprices. But note the total interest, $438 in total interest. That's a little bit more than the example we talked about previously with the six-month certificate. Let's take a look at the next slide. While this slide, I admit, looks awfully busy with this schedule, what we have here is we've shown you how those CDs work, the laddered CDs that we purchased, through year two, three, four, and five. So in year two, there isn't any changes because when we looked at that original uh, assumption table of rates, we didn't have any changes to rates in year two. But again, the mix included much higher earning interest investments than what we had in the six month example. So again, in year two, the interest earned is $441, substantially more than year two for the six month investment, which was $100. In year three, we start to see some repricing. You'll see that the six months repriced from 10 basis points to 20 basis points. You'll see that the uh, 12 month rate increased to 35 basis points in the 24 month increased to 50 basis points. The three, four, and five year terms did not because they will not reprice until starting at year three for the 36 month, year four for the 48 month, and year five for the 60 months. When we move up to year four, rates went up again in year four. Again, your 36 month rate uh, now repriced at 65, from 65 basis points to 75 basis points and your four-year and five-year CDs stayed the same. When we get into year five, all of a sudden your four-year CD reprices. It goes from uh, 80 basis points uh, all the way up to 150 basis points. And in year six, which we haven't shown here, your 60-month would reprice. Your overall earnings for each of those years, again in year two, $441. $582 in year three, $573 in year four, $880 in year five. All right, let's take a look at the results. Purchasing six month CDs for five years totaled $1,204 in total interest. In the laddering example, over the course of five years, we totaled $2,913 in total interest. That's an increase of $1,709 over the six-month example. That's a significant amount of interest and shows that laddering seemed to be the better investment, better choice versus staying short consistently with the six-month CDs. In the next slide, we're going to take a look at a different type of laddering. People will structure their ladders differently depending on their personal situation. The previous example showed that as each term CD came due, it was replaced with a like term. In the example below, we show 
as each CD comes due, it's actually replaced with the longest term CD. So in the table below, we're assuming that all certificates, the six month through 60 month, were purchased on January 1st, 2021. That means your first CD is gonna come due on June 30th of 2021. That would be the six month CD. If the six month CD was replaced on June 30th with a 60 month CD, the new maturity would be June 30th, 2026. The next CD that comes due is the 12 month CD. That would come due on December 31st, 2021. If that CD were replaced with a 60 month CD, that would have a new maturity of 1231, 2026. So let's assume that happened and we're fast forward and we're in 2022. We would look at our maturity schedule and say, geez, we've got a CD coming due at the end of the year, 1231, 2022. And we have CDs coming due uh, each year through 2025 and then twice during 2026 in June and at the end of December. And if that cycle is repeated, eventually you'll have an entire portfolio of 60 month CDs, which typically would earn the highest rate out of any of the CDs that the credit union would offer. So you would be fully maximizing your yield on investment with all 60 month CDs but you would have a regular maturity cycle for liquidity purposes and repricing on an annual basis. So that is another way to look at laddering and actually the best way to maximize your yield. Okay, let's talk about decreasing rate environment briefly. When rates decline, laddering will slow the effects of a decrease in yield on your portfolio. In the example below, uh, we're going back to the six month CD for the investor that likes to stay short. In this example, you can see as rates decline into years two, three, four, and then continue to uh, maintain the decline into year five, uh, the CDs are repricing each year at the lower rate, which means the return realized off of those investments is less every year until it reaches the bottom, which we see in year five. If this portfolio was a laddered portfolio, it would be comprised of longer term CDs that were purchased in year one at the present high rate. So for example, a five-year CD purchased today, if that was included in a laddered portfolio, in year five, you would see the higher market rate from five years earlier, which would be beneficial to giving your portfolio an overall enhanced earning perspective over this six-month CD example. In summary, we hope this review of laddering helped and that'll give you some consideration for how you can better balance your portfolio to maximize your interest income. Please feel free to contact us at 860-886-0576, visit us on the web at coreplus.org, or email us support at coreplus.org. And we'll be happy to help you to get your portfolio in a better position for higher interest earnings and to sustain ups and downs in the interest rate environment. Thank you for watching this program.